Hey guys, Christian here. Today I'm going to be talking to you guys a little bit about some of the things the Lord's been talking to me about for the past couple of weeks. Uh, at the end of the day, or actually as of the shooting of this video, the last thing the Lord uh, spoke to me was that He was going to give me a large amount of money and I was supposed to pay tithe on that. So I want you to think about that as well. Uh, I know that you guys will have different ways of doing it. Some of you will be uh, inclined to give to various different outreach programs. Others of you might be giving to your home church or however you choose to do it. Whatever God leads you to do, do, okay? Um, I want to talk a little bit about this financial blessing that God's blessing the church with. And I've talked about this before in various different ways that God's shown me He's going to go about doing this. And um, it's very, very important. If you haven't seen those videos, go back and watch them. They'll give you some insight. Uh, these opportunities that God's opening your eyes to, that's um, an opportunity that He has just for you. I know this week I've been experiencing a lot of revelation in certain areas that God's been showing me um, just a deeper level and allowing me to do things that other people can't do just because of the knowledge He's given me. All right, So be uh, looking for that in your life as well. That's a prophetic thing. Whatever God is in me, He will do the church. Um, the other element that I want to talk about, this kind of goes back for a while. I noticed that Every now and then, I would be focused on, you know, whatever God was teaching me, uh, whether it's stock trading or, or whatever. And I'm, I'm looking at my account, I'm trying to grow my account, and every now and then you start to feel yourself ever so slightly start to drift into thinking about money in it, not the way I'm supposed to be, okay? And, and, and almost like a, I, I started to care for it, you know? It was weird. And so I, I caught myself like, whoa, what, what was that, you know, and backed away from it like, whoa, I don't, I don't, I don't care for money like that, you know, God is my focus, you know, I don't want to focus on money so much. And I, I get that the Lord is calling me to go do various different things and he's giving you that wealth so that you can go help the church and things like that, but it didn't make me insusceptible, if that's a word, uh, to the trap that money could pose. Um, and anyway, after some time went by, and maybe a month or so, and I'm in a situation where we think about business or, or whatever, and I start to feel myself drift again into that allure, you know? It's a cool word to say, allure. Uh, so anyway, I finally caught myself that, wait a minute, something's going on here. So I sought God on it. So, you know, Lord, what's the deal? I mean, we have, you know, on the one hand, you've told me to go do these things, you know? And on the other hand, you've told me that, you know, in the Word, that we cannot serve two masters, you know. Uh, we'll either love the one or hate the other, you know, uh, or the other way around. So how do I, how do I deal with this? It feels like I'm, I've got, in a sense, two masters, even though I didn't choose them, you know. I mean, I chose God, and then He told me to go do this thing. So I kind of feel like yeah, I'm stuck, you know. But I know that what I'm being told to do isn't non-biblical. I mean, because you got pictures, lots of pictures in the Bible. But take Joseph, for example, where God actually told him, you know, this is what I'm going to have you do. And he goes and he's positioned to bring deliverance to a great deal of people, save the lives of many, many people by his management skills. And so I was just kind of seeking the Lord on this issue. And then, again, uh, I don't know, maybe a month later, I find myself doing very certain things, and I, I start to feel that feeling again where I'm drifting to focus more and more on money. And it's, it basically starts to affect your heart. You can you can feel it, all right? So that was that. I was like, okay, that's it. There's something, something's not right here, you know? So I was seeking God again on this issue. And that verse keeps coming to my mind, you know, about you, you can't serve the two masters. And I'm like, well, how can I be doing the one and then not be pleased with gaining money, you know? And or building wealth. I mean, that's kind of my skill set. It's supposed to be there. There you go. And that's and that. You did what you were supposed to do. You made more money. Congratulations. You know. And then of course you try to make more money. I don't. I don't see how I could not fall into that trap. But I kept falling into that trap. Anyway, finally it dawned on me. The Lord you know, showed me how this works. And uh, I, I kind of struggled with it for a little bit. I because it's a decision that in my heart I had to make. And I finally did last week. I said. Okay, that's it. You know, last week, I decided that to stay moving forward, I'm broke. I have no money. Everything that I have, I just gave to God. There you go. And I don't care how much it, it is or it doesn't make a difference to me. It's all His. If He tells me to give it all away, it's all given away. Um, it's just not my 
mine anymore, okay? And at that moment, I was free. And so I could go wherever God told me. Go into the stock market, no problem. Go to take care of that. Go to take care of that, no problem. Take care of that. I give you billions of dollars, I don't care. I'll take care of that, no problem. It's not mine. And all of a sudden, I'm still just focused on what do you want me to do? Let's go do this. And I, and I take care of my business, but my heart's never attached to it because my focus is always I serve him. I'm his servant. What he tells me to do, I go do. And there's no longer any potential of me getting wrapped up in it because it's not mine. Okay? So I just want to kind of share it with you. It's something that's personally going on in my life. Whatsoever God is doing, he does in church. And so if you find yourself at this point or sometime down the road, um, starting to be seduced in a way uh, by the wealth that God's putting on you, um, I just want to share this with you if it, it might help you, okay? Because I know it helped me a great deal. So that's all I can have for you today, um, just that uh, a little bit of insight. Um, if you have any insight on the subject, feel free to comment below. As always, I upload every couple of days, so hit the share, like, and subscribe. Also, thank you guys for sharing my video online. I got a lot of people... Uh, subscribe to the channel because of that. So thank you very much for that. I appreciate it. Uh, God bless. Take care. And I will see you in the next one.